today we are going to be making just a little bit of macaroni and cheese. Uh, my grandson wanted some today, so I'm going to make a very small um, pan of macaroni and cheese. So here we see we have our ingredients. I have one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, the sharp cheddar cheese, just because I like sharp. I have one cup of cubed Velveeta cheese, and that's going to give it some real creaminess. I have one cup of the elbow macaroni. I have two tablespoons of butter, one egg, four tablespoons of sour cream, and I also have just some lemon pepper seasoning, adobo seasoning, and a little bit of black pepper. Now you can use uh, white pepper if you don't want to see the specks of pepper in it. I'm not going to be using that much, and I like black pepper a little bit better. I like to see mine. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see that right here I have one um, boiler already boiling so I can go ahead and just get my macaroni uh, noodles right down into that boiling water. Gonna just mix them around to make sure none of them are clumped up. And I'm gonna put just a scatter of salt. Don't wanna put too much because um, there's gonna be salt in the lemon pepper and in the Goya seasoning, so we don't want to get it too salty. And also, this butter has salt in it. The Velveeta is salty and the, the uh, cheddar is salty. So we want to just make sure we control our salt. Okay, so let's let that boil for about uh, eight minutes. We want to get it, you know, just al dente, and we'll be back. Okay, so now I have my uh, macaroni noodles. I, they have boiled to the uh, al dente steak, and um, they're still hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin to put in my two tablespoons of butter, and I'm just gonna sort of cover that so that it can melt. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my one cup of shredded sharp, ch sharp cheddar cheese. I want to sort of begin to stir that in so that that will melt. I'm going to go ahead and put in my one cup of Velveeta cheese. And let me just stir that. These noodles are, are hot, so they'll begin to melt some of this cheese. I'm going to go ahead and get in my lemon pepper se um, seasoning, my adobo seasoning, remember both of them have salt, the cheese is salty, and I'm going to um, put in my four tablespoons of sour cream. one teaspoon, just a little bit shy of a teaspoon of just white granulated sugar. You're not going to taste it. It's not going to be sweet at all. It's just going to kick up those other flavors. I'm going to put in just a little bit more of the lemon, um, just the regular pepper, just a little bit though. Just a dash of pepper. It's just something I had in the refrigerator. By, by no means do I always add this into my um, macaroni and cheese. Just gonna do it today because I had it in the refrigerator, don't wanna waste it. These are some bacon bits that I cooked and chopped up on another day. And they went into another recipe. But I wanna go ahead and use them just so not to waste them. I'm gonna go ahead and use them in the macaroni. And you know, bacon goes good with anything, so you know that's going to be good. All right, I have here um, 
This is just some cheese that I have for sprinkling on top of the macaroni once this goes into the um, pan. So here I have my one egg. I'm going to crack it, put it in. Just wanted to take those, just, just that little white stuff that's on the side of the eggs. I really don't like to look at it, so if it's too pronounced, I just take it out. The ingredient, I might have said milk, but this is a cup of half and half. It's gonna make it creamy, more creamy. You can use milk if you'd like. You can use canned milk, regular whole milk. Um, but if you half and half or canned milk, just makes it more creamy. Just sort of adds to the goodness. All right, so I have taken a wire whisk and combined that egg really good with the milk. And I'm gonna get that down in over the macaroni. baking dish that I have already sprayed with vegetable spray and I'm gonna go ahead and get the macaroni down in this bowl. Put on top the rest of my cheese just to give it a good look on top. Get some paprika on it. This paprika is more about the look than the taste because paprika doesn't really have much of a taste unless you use a smoky paprika. So we're just going to get that down there just to give it a look. We have our oven preheated to 350 degrees and this is going to need to cook for about 20 minutes. Here it is, all done and delicious. See the cheese? So I'm just gonna have to get a bite. Mm. So that's good. Oh, that's so good. Really good, guys. I know probably every one of you, you have your own recipe for macaroni and cheese. Try this one out. I think you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching.